Alrighty, boys and girls, it's your boy Tigu back at it once again. Another day in paradise. I haven't been doing the sign outs recently because I really have no idea uh, when the videos will end because, you know, right now it's kind of living just daily life. There's no big traveling or no plans like that or anything like that. I'm just chilling out here, which I really do enjoy actually. It's super relaxing and I'm still taking care of some work and things like that, you know, but just living out here. Oh, the life, because next week I'm going to start doing some activities again, meeting people, but every night I'm still meeting uh, friends and things like that, so it's really not boring at all. Right now I'm walking to the convenience store, which is literally, there's the house that I'm staying in, boom, and the convenience store is right there, so. The, it's 50 million yen, which is the equivalent of like 500, 600 thousand, or 500,000 US dollars about, and it could be even more with all the renovation, like all the improvements they've done over time, but they bought that, they built it for 500k. Which is ridiculous. Look both ways before crossing the street, boys and girls, and we are at Lawson's to get some uh, just snacks and things like that. I've only eaten a protein cookie thing that you gave me because he doesn't like them, and drank some milk. Hopefully, it doesn't screw up my stomach. But Japanese people are not really in tune with the lactose free stuff, so really messes with me. You and I, you and I, you and I are gonna be going to the gym later today. Other than that, pretty much just chilling. All right, well, I spent just over 700 yen. And so over here at Lawson's, they're doing like one of those little ticket drawing things, and I got something pointless. It's just like a card for some idol group. But also, check out what's cool though. I got this freaking hoji cha latte, okay? Look how big this is. This hoji cha latte um, is roasted matcha uh, latte, pretty much. This, if I wanted to get this in Houston, $5, right? Five whole freaking doll hairs over here in Japan this I just got it from the convenience store it was two dollars like that's crazy man anyways I also bought like one thing of chicken and some small thing of noodles the register lady was like do you do training or something because things you bought are uh, like very health conscious and then she told then she told me I have a small face but really broad shoulders. <laughs> what the heck? Alright, so this is what I got just to eat, snack on, you know, chicken breast. And this is a very small thing of noodles, but it still looks good. Oh, look who's back from work. <laughs> you, yeah, boy. You, yeah, boy. <laughs> I think we're about to go to the gym. I've been. Because! Look what we're doing out here. Look what we're doing out here. <laughs> I'm faster. <laughs> All right, so we're going to the gym right now with you, your boy. You, your boy. You, your boy. Look at the freaking scene. Oh my god, it's beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh. So tomorrow is like a big event. It's the huge, like one of the biggest events of the year in Okayama. It's called the Uraja Festival. And it's like a bunch of dancing and like groups like walking through the streets and dancing. It's kind of like a competition as well. But we're gonna go for a little bit tomorrow, but uh, in the evening, you just got some fancy plans. <laughs> <laughs> so in Japan, there's like this uh, thing called Gokon, which is like, we don't really, it's kind of more rare in America, I feel like, but in Japan, like since they don't have the opportunity to meet people, instead of just relying on online dating and stuff, they, it's a common practice for them to kind of, arrange like some kind of it's like typically it's like a drinking party and sometimes bad things come with it of course but um between guys and girls and that way you can kind of meet people of the opposite gender so hopefully you can finally find a partner or something like that but normally normally it's like same number of boys and girls right normally oh yeah yeah, yeah. are you gonna meet some ladies yuya <laughs> look at the view Goodness gracious. Like, this is like one thing I miss so much. Like when I'm back in Texas, it's just, like, you can't really see this because there's so many buildings in Houston and stuff. Like it's so freaking epic here. So Yuya has just confirmed that uh, the area, like the immediate area that he lives in is, he would consider to be like pretty countryside or Inaka because there's not that much stuff around it. And I kind of thought so because it looked very similar to where I lived in Suyama and everyone said that's Inaka or countryside area. The good thing about his place though is that it's very easy to access the station and everything and it's near uh, non-country things but just like that immediate area is what you would consider to be countryside. We're here. I forgot his shoes. Yeah, you, you forgot his indoor shoes, you know. They're gonna kick, kick him out if he doesn't bring his indoor shoes. See in Japan? Oh my gosh. 
In Japan, you need to have indoor shoes to go to the gym. I.e., that's why I wear my sandals right here. And once I go inside, I just switch to my other shoes. Oh, okay. What are you, this boy straddling the plants over here. There's a uh, ticket machine even for the training room. So it says training room right here. Just go down, go down, go down. Boom, one ticket, training room usage, one time. If you're older than a high schooler, 210 yen. That's so cheap. $2 for a freaking gym pass. Oh my God. Yo, holy crap, dude. I'm freaking, I'm freaking dead out here. I was able to actually like, they had a, all the machines you really need. They had leg extension, leg curls, um, leg press, and it actually did go pretty heavy. I was able to do like every exercise, and like some I had to improvise a little bit, like with the lunges. I was pretty much able to do everything that I normally would do on a leg volume day in America, but the thing is, it's been like four weeks since I've even touched legs, so I was freaking dying. Like it was, that was way harder than I thought it was gonna be. I was like, actually like, legs wobbly. Legs wobbling like mom's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Wow. But we are about to go eat some. What are we gonna eat, Yuya? Sushi boys. Sushi boys. Sushi boys. Teriyaki boys. Teriyaki boys. <laughs> Sushi Express, 100 yen. Ah, is. Alright, so here we are. This one is interesting because you have, you have to order everything. There's nothing coming by. You must order it. Yo, Kappa Sushi is cool. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Well, we gotta wait. There's nothing, there ain't nothing over here. What's going on, man? <laughs> oh my gosh, what the? She can't say. Let's see if I can see the people back there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I see her put the fries on. Oh, she's pressing the button. Here it comes. Oh, steel. Oh, steel. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my gosh, and there it is. Wow, it's all on one tray. That's cool. That's cute. Wow, look at this, dude. Wow. And get out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I definitely like this place better than Sushi though. Like, like, first of all, it's like everything that you get is going to be fresh because you have to order it and then they make it. Like, and it probably saves them, you know, money, time because they're not making putting stuff out that just gets old and nobody wants it. That seals the deal. If a place has this, then it is godly. Look. Shrimp, avocado, onion mayonnaise. Japanese mayonnaise, so that actually tastes good. Salmon, avocado, onion mayonnaise. Two pieces of these each is 100 yen. So two pieces for a dollar. That is ridiculous. All right, and to finish it off, we got some dessert right here. Got some warabi mochi with the black sugar, as they call it. And look at this chocolate cake right here. This chocolate cake, 100 yen. That's crazy. You also got a warabi mochi, but you also got a pudding, pudding. which is just flan. So, Yuya said he's like 100% full. I'm like, after all this, I'm like about, I think like 60%. Now the first time I ever finished my cut way back when, like my first ever cut in Tsuyama, I went to the Kappa Sushi in Tsuyama by myself, and that's where I set my record, the 34 plates of sushi. I feel like before the end of this trip in Japan, I want to break that record. Like, and so I'll probably try with Moses, I'm going to try to break that record in Tokyo, but I need to make sure that we do activity so I'm actually hungry. Do you think I can do it? I can do it. Alright, you, you thinks I can do it, we'll see. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's it, boys. There's Kappa Zushi. If you want to see the logo right there, that was so freaking good. So together, we spent about $55 in between two of us, which is like not bad at all, for 45 plates, which is really good. Okay, boys, time to go home. Back to Yuya's half a million dollar house. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, dude. You said 50 million yen, right? Mm. Jeez. <laughs> All right, just walking the night roads out here. You guys go into the convenience store to go buy some brews, some cold brewskis for the boys, except that it's just him because I don't drink beer. <laughs> yeah, so peaceful outside. <laughs> exactly. This is it right here, boys and girls. It's the easy access to the trains. I can literally ride the bicycle 15 minutes to get to the train station. Easy access, man. But then it's like you get the peacefulness at night. 
It's freaking great. I love it. Ah, I love it. Lawson Station. I wonder if he's gonna get another. Oh, man, I got that stupid idol card earlier. I just want a free free food or free drink. I don't want idol cards. Yeah.